wanted to show you my homemade chicken nuggets. I can guarantee you it's moist, it's juicy, it's delicious. I'm proud to say better than the ones that you buy in your favorite fast food. Let's get started. For the homemade chicken nuggets, you need one half kilo skinless, boneless ground chicken breast, one tablespoon chicken powder, a pinch of nutmeg, one fourth cup of cornstarch or potato starch. For the coating or the dipping mixture, you need three fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of barbecue or fried chicken seasoning, one small egg, two thirds to three fourths cup of water. For the barbecue sauce, you need two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one fourth cup brown sugar, one eight teaspoon white pepper, two tablespoons of banana ketchup, one half cup water, one half teaspoon vetsin, optional, one tablespoon butter or oil, one four teaspoon salt or to taste, one tablespoon cornstarch or potato starch dispersed in two tablespoons of water. We will mix the nuggets first. So this is the ground chicken breast. This is of course boneless and please use skinless. We have a pinch of nutmeg. A pinch is less than 1 16th of a teaspoon. And then I season this with chicken powder. Right. And then you add potato or cornstarch. If you have access to potato starch, potato starch is better. Then you mix this together. After this, we're going to wrap this in plastic and then we're going to freeze this. You freeze it for, depends on how cold your freezer it is, but the consistency is you should be able to slice it. We will divide this into two. So we will make two rolls. I use a uh, cling wrap because it's easier to tighten it. You tighten this and then you freeze. Okay. If you like, you can tie this. All right. And then we freeze this and then we slice, dip and then we fry, okay? So we'll see this back in four to five hours. For the barbecue sauce, we need to put together all the ingredients. I have here water, ketchup. You can use banana or tomato ketchup. We have, uh, this is vetsin. If you don't like vetsin, you don't have to put it. And I have salt. I have pepper, I have vinegar, soy sauce, brown sugar, we have oil, All right, we bring this to a boil and then we have cornstarch slurry, water and cornstarch. This is our barbecue sauce for our nuggets. We bring this to a boil first. I can put the cornstarch right now, but if the cornstarch is already mixed in, then we have to continue to stir until uh, it boils. Right now, since the cornstarch is not there, you can just leave it. It's starting to boil now. Let's add in the cornstarch slurry. All right here. Once it boils, your barbecue sauce is ready, all right? So let's just set this aside and let's fry the nuggets. We will now prepare the dipping or the coating mixture. I have here flour. This is all-purpose flour. And then you have cornstarch. You can also use potato starch. And then I have uh, our seasoning. This is fried chicken seasoning. You can also use barbecue seasoning. Then we have one egg and water. Right. 
if you need to add more water, uh, please add maybe uh, two tablespoons more. Depends on how thick you want it to be. Okay. Uh, this thickness is good for, for me, this is good. Okay, so we don't need to add any more water. You know what determines the amount of water you add in is the size of the egg. Okay, so I always put the egg first before I put the water. Okay, this is good. Then, let's slice our nuggets. I want to show you two ways you can make the nuggets. First, remember I told you you put this in the freezer for uh, four, hour, four to six hours until it's really frozen. Okay, uh, since I am in a hurry, I w can't wait for this to freeze. Another thing, because you know, this is frozen, you just cut this like this. So, it's easier, okay? Since uh, I don't want to wait, because it's supposed to come out like this if you, uh, if this were frozen, but this is not frozen, so what you can do is you can weigh this. If you plan to do this manually, then you don't have to put them in plastic. You put a little oil in your hands and just make nuggets. Nuggets are, uh, you know, like gold nuggets. They're shaped like this. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect because when you dip it in the breading, the shape is going to uh, change a little bit. Okay, so here, these are some that we made. So, if you're making a lot, it's best to freeze it and then just slice, okay? But if you're making like, this is only half a kilo, I'll just do this by hand, okay? Let's start frying now. You dip the nuggets. You can also do this by hand. It's just a little messy, but it's faster. If your nuggets are frozen, you can fry it directly from the freezer. You have to move it constantly to make sure the browning is even. All right, let's take this out. This is done. Okay, let's do the next batch. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Here's our chicken nuggets. Okay, I want to show you the inside. It's very moist, it's very juicy. And I, I'm proud to say that, you know, this, re this is really good, better than the popular chicken nuggets that you buy. Give this a try.